Apple pie is a classic, and now you can make your own at home. Let's start with the crust. Mix all-purpose flour, sugar, and salt with very cold cubed unsalted butter. It's important that the butter is cold to ensure a flaky crust. Use a fork to toss the butter in the flour and break it apart a little. Then use your fingers to crush the butter and rub it into the flour. Try to work quickly so the butter doesn't melt from the heat of your hands. Now add around 6 tablespoons of ice cold water and loosely stir the dough to hydrate the flour. This part is all about feel, so if the dough still feels too dry, add a few more tablespoons of water. You know you've added enough water when large clumps start to form, but be careful not to add too much. You should be able to form a ball just by gently kneading the dough together. Remember, you want to handle the dough as little as possible. Once you have a ball formed, quickly shape it into a disc, then cut it in half and form two balls of dough. Wrap these tightly in plastic wrap, then refrigerate for at least 30 minutes, if not more, to let them rest. While your dough chills, you can prepare the filling. Start with four Granny Smith apples that you have peeled and sliced, then add white sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, and a little flour to help it thicken when it's baked. Stir everything together so all the apples are coated, then set aside. Now it's time to roll out your dough. Lightly flour your working surface. Make sure not to use too much flour or else the crust will be tough. Use your floured rolling pin to firmly but gently press down on the dough, then push from the center out, rotating often until you have a rough circle about 1 8 of an inch thick. Now transfer one sheet to a pie plate and gently press the dough into the edges so it fits snugly. Use a knife or kitchen scissors to cut the excess dough from the sides, then it's time to add your filling and spread it out evenly. Brush the edges with a little egg wash to help the top crust stick and also give it a glossy finish. Then lay the other sheet of dough over top of the filling. You could use a knife again to cut away the excess, but an easier trick is to just use the edge of the pie tray as a guide and tear it off. Now you need to seal the two crusts together by firmly but gently pressing the prongs of a fork along the edge. Poke some holes in the top to allow steam to release while baking, then brush the whole pie crust with more egg wash. As a finishing touch, sprinkle the top with cinnamon sugar, which will caramelize in the oven and give the pie a beautiful textured finish. Bake at 350 for around 25 minutes, then let cool before serving. Subscribe to Dished for more delicious recipes.